Hi everyone, so today I have a sponsored video for you from Tonic Studios for World Card Making Day. We were asked to create a card of whatever occasion that we would like and so today I'm going to be using these two um, die sets and some card bases and some papers of course to create uh, a beautiful card. So. Um, well, these were items that I chose, uh, that I picked up myself, but um, I will have them linked in the description box. Those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were purchased items to those links. And um, possible that there might be some kind of bundle deals uh, involving some of the items that people will be using, the different uh, content creators and design team members. So I'll have that info in the description box for you guys. But I have this uh, Friendship Frames die set that is super gorgeous. I was super happy to grab this um, a little while back and it has an outer die, it has an inlay, it has this little frame one here and then it has another inlay. Same thing with the second set. And um, one of them says wishing you everything wonderful. The other one says for a special friend. So kind of an everyday kind of sentiment type thing, right? Different occasion. That's more every day, in my opinion. Um, so uh, we have this one. The die is about five inches tall, and maybe at the thickest area, four inches. And I do have these these cream colored card bases that I think I'm going to be using uh, that are A6 size, which I believe would be a five by seven. Let me check on this again, though. Oh, actually, that's four and a half by just over six inches six and a quarter so yeah it's definitely um, a six <laughs> so um, I think I'll be using that as a card base and then I also have this cute little die set called flora and fauna and this just has a ton of butterflies and dragonflies which we've actually had recently flying around and I'm like I don't think I've ever seen dragonflies just around here <laughs> you know so something's up with the uh, weather that's making them uh, more abundant here in at least my part of San Diego um, big butterflies, smaller, you know, dragonflies, a smaller butterfly, there's like ladybugs in here, um, leaves and flower sprays and things like that, so I think I'll decorate my card with uh, some of these, um, the fauna that's in here. And then we have these decorative dice, so I'm going to grab some beautiful papers and we'll just get to die cutting and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I think to get started, we have our card base, and again, let me measure that just so I have those numbers fresh in my mind. It is about six and a quarter by four and a half. Um, so I'm going to make a matte layer, I think with this gorgeous color here. I will have all the colors listed or the, you know, the items that we use here. Uh, this is Craft Perfect paper. And I said it's about four and a half, so let's go a little smaller than four and a half. Let's say four and three eighths. And then in the other direction we said it was about six and a quarter, but it's a little smaller than six and a quarter. So I'm going to try to take, that's like six and, I don't know, three sixteenths or something, a crazy little number like that, but just a little smaller. And that's pretty good. I think that's gonna be great. So that's gonna be my background color. And then I grabbed these unexpected colors. I love corals, I love creamy colors, I love like teal. So I thought, why don't we put these all together? So I'm gonna take, this guy over here and I think we're just gonna go really lacy today so let's see. let's bring out all these and how is this one this one is the one that says for a special friend nope yep sorry this is the one that says wishing you everything wonderful I grabbed the one that says for a special friend but as you can see I guess I should talk about this a little more the friendship frames die set that these guys are interchangeable. So this one has like little dots and the edge, this one has like a little sewing and then you can switch out these sentiments. And one is definitely up and down like this. The other one is more of a landscape or portrait design. And I think for today I wanted to use the wishing you everything wonderful, why not? So we'll use that one and also use the dotted edge, why not? And again, you can mix and match them and that's really great. You just have these beautiful scroll work frames that they go along with. Okay, so if I want to do an inlay, and then that guy, okay, this sounds good. Um, do the background. So this whole larger background, it's going to leave that teal color in the center. So we have these guys. And again, when you run this through, you want to put some tape down so that your dies don't shift and don't damage your dies or your machine. And then with this peachy one, 
I'm just going to run it through. Same thing, just put some tape, and I will be right back with those two pieces. And I just, look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I just want that really lacy look about this card. And that's just lovely. Look at that. Beautiful. I love the colors. Oh, I didn't glue that down yet, did I? We'll have this guy in here. And then we have our sentiment. Love the colorways, how they're all mixed and matching there. So let me clean up a little bit around here and then we'll get this um, stuck okay, down. Guys. So let's go ahead and glue these down. And then we'll just adorn with some beautiful butterflies. And, you know, just die cutting, honestly, it's just my favorite. I mean, there's <laughs> nothing better. Uh, you run it through, the machine does the work, and it looks beautiful, especially the tonic dies. Super intricate and gorgeous. So I'm just going to hold this down. And again, with that floral, um, the friendship frames, excuse me, uh, die set, you can mix and match your sentiments. And then, of course, one, like I said, is landscape. The other one's portrait, which I think is really cool. I mean, if you wanted to put something up like this and then just decorate on here, that'd be really lovely, too. I'm going to put it dead center. Okay. Really pretty when you look at it. It does have, like, what looks like dragonfly wings almost are on there. Really lovely. So I'm just going to put some glue on here. And again, I always try to just... Get these outer edges for sure. Maybe I'll put glue on the back of my hand, which I'll probably do for this one. It's delicate, but it's not super delicate. It's nice and sturdy, but it just has some small areas. So I'm just going to go through here. Put some of that glue on the back of my hand. And just bring this guy over here. Pop it right in the center. So this is the um, Craft Perfect textured cardstock, and I'm just eyeballing this a little more that way. Um, so it already has a nice texture. If you want to run it through an embossing folder, that'd be lovely. Get some dimension on that back area there, and then we have this gorgeous guy. And again, I'm just going to put glue all around the edges. Put glue on my hand. Dab, 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 and then just pop this guy right here. Hey guys, I mean that is beautiful just on its own, but of course we're going to dress it up with some butterflies, dragonflies, things like that. So I have this gorgeous gold glitter, just a scrap of white paper, so you know, any white paper. And um, so these guys are beautiful. So they have a background die, but they also have, it's not an inlay, it's its own, you know, really decorative uh, piece here. So I think I want to use a dragonfly, why not? We can kind of see where this guy can go, maybe up here. And then maybe a smaller, or we can do another dragonfly, but I think I'm going to go with this butterfly, this mid-sized one. Which is a couple like that. That'd be good. Okay. And what I'm going to do, the reason I have white and gold, is not because I'm using the outline die or the outer die. I'm going to run this through the white paper, both of them. And I'll stick that down, and then I'm going to run them also through the gold, and the gold will be the butterfly that I place on top, or the dragonfly that I place on top. That'll be just really pretty, but I want that white there to kind of set it off. So I'll run these guys through, and I'll run them through this also, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have our beautiful butterflies here and my dragonfly, and funny enough, I said I was going to put the gold on top of the white, and, you know, that is very pretty. But it's also a little bit busy, so actually I think it looks <laughs> nicer with the white on top of the gold, so that that little gold kind of, you see that little sparkle, and then the white butterfly that really just pops. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, you know, you can glue it down completely. You can glue down just the um, wings. I'm going to glue this a little more in the center than I would normally. Place that guy there. And then this guy, I'm going to kind of bring the wings up and only glue down his very center and a little bit offset so you can see that gold kind of coming through there hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing there and I'll do the same thing with this guy just glue the gold body center right here-ish and then that one on top and I'll bring it and there is our card with some beautiful die cutting I love the way that is set off with that gold glitter kind of shining through in the back really just super uh, delicate and intricate uh, die cutting super fast obviously you run through your machine and you have this beautiful thing so uh, a really uh, fun pair of sets i think that i chose for uh, this tutorial thanks for watching guys um, again links will be in the description box enjoy your 
World Card Making Day and thank you so much Tonic Studios for sponsoring this video. I'll have images coming up. Again, the links will be there in the description box for you along with some other info and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now. Thank you.